Can you imagine being 9 years old and not being bothered by a guy in convincing demon makeup chasing after you? You can lie all you want, but the young star of Insidious didn't have that luxury. With Insidious, director James Wan and writer Lee Whannell changed the haunted house horror genre forever. They integrated demons into a plot surrounding astral projection and made a seriously terrifying movie, intricately exploring the idea that an evil entity binds itself to a host instead of merely haunting a house. They also made the horror genre a little more accessible to mainstream audiences by incorporating set designs and an overall visual style that, while still being terrifying, leaned more towards being cartoonish instead of visceral and raw. Ultimately, the film raked in a little over $100 million against a minuscule budget of $1.5 million, a massive success for a movie that very easily could have ended up in the bargain bin at Walmart if someone other than Juan had been at the helm. The film follows the story of a family experiencing paranormal disturbances after their young son Dalton falls into an inexplicable coma. Believing their home to be haunted, the family moves into another, but the disturbances only continue. It's later revealed that Dalton has the ability to astral project and had traveled to a realm known as the Further, a dangerous dimension between heaven, earth, and hell, where tortured souls of the dead dwell. The primary antagonist, described in the film as the man with the fire in his face, is a sinister entity that holds the boy captive in the Further. Played by Joseph Bashara, who also composed the score for the movie, the demon is a tall, yellow-eyed humanoid figure with intricate red and black patterns covering its body. The first time we actually see the Darth Maul look-alike in the movie is possibly one of the most iconic jump scares in horror movie history. <laughs> On set, the director preferred that the actors didn't meet Bashara until they filmed a scene together because it was the most natural way for him to film their reaction. It goes without saying that Ty Simpkins, who was only eight years old at the time of filming, was often spooked while sharing screen space with Bashara when he was in costume as the film's resident villain. James Wan shared in an interview with Screen Rant that the child actor was terrified of him at times. He told the publication, Just about every single scene he has in the film, besides the start of the movie, was with a particular nasty, scary character, right? A demonic character. And he was terrified of him. Because, man, if you think that thing is scary on screen, imagine being an eight-year-old kid having to stand next to this thing, all painted up in the darkness. Juan did his best to reassure Ty Simpkins when he was too afraid of filming the scarier parts of the movie. One of the ways he did this was by letting the young actor help Bashara with the application of his demon makeup and prosthetics. Lee Winnell explained in the behind-the-scenes featurette, James would take him into the makeup trailer, and show him Joe Bashara, who played the demon. That's the real Joe. However, Juan still had to find a way to elicit a natural reaction from him when the integrity of the movie depended on it, by, you know, having the demon chase after him. Unsurprisingly, it didn't always prove to be an easy feat. The director told Screen Rant, I would have to work with him and go, you know, this isn't real. And sometimes I would have to go, you know what, in this scene, I really need him to break out and cry here. Then I would try and find some way without scaring the kid too much to extract that out of him. Then when I would yell cut, I go, see Ty, that wasn't so bad, was it? And he's like bawling his eyes out. Poor kid. But hey, it was worth it for everyone involved. As we mentioned previously, the movie ended up being a huge financial success and ultimately gave Juan the clout he needed to establish himself as a mainstay in the horror realm. After Insidious, he went on to direct The Conjuring, with Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson leading its universe of paranormal horror films. As of this video, it's the highest grossing horror franchise in the world.